Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the uh, image gallery here at the top. So you just go ahead and click on your image gallery in your front page there. You're going to notice this bar at the top means I'm already logged in. So <clears throat> right now you have um, some image galleries on here, right? And so these could be your clients. You don't have to have a slideshow. I'll actually take that off because it's stupid. But because you know, because your images are going to, uh, clients are going to want to click on it and get a nice big image. So if you make these images like 900 by uh, the 675, they'll be really big. This one's like 500 pixels wide, but you could probably make them a little smaller. It just depends. You have to mess around with it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I log in right to WordPress. I click on Gallery. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Manage Galleries. So I don't want to use those galleries that are on that page. I want to start and do a new one, right? These are the existing galleries that I have there. So let me just create a new gallery. And I'm just going to call it uh, JRSO test. You can call us whatever client. So let's call it client. Um, client uh, Debbie Gibson. All right. Say OK. So now I've created a new gallery called Debbie Gibson. There's no images in it, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and click on the actual gallery itself, and I'm going to add images to it. <clears throat> if you um, <clears throat> uh, click on, um, sorry, you're going to click on Add Gallery Images. Okay, and then you have Create New Gallery, or you can select them, right? So I've already created, I've already uh, created Debbie Gibson, so I just select Debbie Gibson, and I click Add Files. Okay, and now let me just grab uh, Beach. I'll grab all these. All right, uh, that. Let me grab your PNG, and I'll grab my. That's fine. And then I'll just say Open. It's going to upload all these images for me, right? And then I click on Start Upload, and you'll notice over here it starts to show you the status of the uploads. Okay, this is your total status: thirteen percent, fourteen percent, whatever. Right shows you each image being uploaded. Okay, so now it's uploaded and it's gonna be in my gallery, okay? So now what I need to do is I need to insert that gallery on your gallery page. So I go to pages, right? So let me show you one thing first. Uh, manage albums. Each of the albums has a number next to it, okay? Um, if you notice, this one says ID4, okay? Debbie Gibson. <laughs> has ID four. So if I go into pages and I go to image gallery, I can put my mouse anywhere in here. That's the first gallery. Don't click on them. Click off to the right of them. So that's the first gallery. It's the second gallery. I don't want either one of those to show. So let me just highlight both of them and I'll delete them. And it's for instructional purposes. Let's go back in here, little fucker. So I hit my delete key, I get rid of them all, all right? Now there's this little icon bar here. If I roll over this, this is gonna show me the actual next gen gallery, okay? So I click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and find um, the gallery that I wanna insert here once this thing pops up. So display galleries, all right? How do I wanna display it? Add gallery images, manage galleries, manage albums, manage tags. You can mess with all this later. So right now I'm just gonna show thumbnails and it says, what would you like to display? I'll click on that and then I'm gonna select my source, which is my gallery, right? So I have galleries, which already just selected. And then it says galleries here. I can click here and now I have my Debbie Gibson gallery I wanna insert. So I click there. And then you can customize this, this display. I'm gonna get rid of the slideshow link just cause it's goofy. And then you can have sort or exclude images. So you can actually show or not show images from the gallery on this particular page if you wanted to, okay? So you'll probably get a better workflow. If you can, you can just go into the next gen and then create your own gallery, do it all from the post if you want. But I like doing it from the gallery, so it's already in there. So I'm done. I just go ahead and select Save. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take it, and it's going to put that gallery right here. So now it's already in. And then last thing I need to do is just select Update. And then when I select Update, once it's finished, I just go up to the gallery page, and I refresh this page. And you know, remember, I did delete the other two galleries. So these two are going to disappear. And now it has my gallery. So what you probably want to do though is put the name of the gallery at the top of it. So that's up to you, right? So remember these images are pretty big. So now see how big they are. So I could probably, you know, I can call that, you know, whatever. If I wanted to call it Debbie Gibson, I can give it a caption or I can call it whatever. I just usually put my mouse there. I move it to the left and I'll call it Debbie Gibson 
whatever, and then hit return. And then select update. And I'll refresh this page. And now Debbie Gibson's up there. So you can call it whatever you want. All right. If you need more help with that, just let me know. And that's it.